Almost a decade after 39 inmates were released from the Josephine County Jail. Were you expecting to get out? Yes, it was. The county is now operating with a fully funded jail and a growing sheriff's department. But Oregon State Police's vital role in the county could be changing. It's kind of unfathomable. It's sort of frustrating to me because we've come so far. OSP may have to cut 17 percent of its annual budget. That could mean closing nine OSP offices, including one in Grants Pass. A fully functioning system and then to lose one of the three law enforcement agencies responsible for 20 percent of the referrals that we get. When I saw that proposal, it was sort of shocking how drastic it was. The Grants Pass office stands alone, serving and responding to rural Josephine County, along with covering area highways. OSP says if it were to close, public safety would decrease and there would be an increase in serious and fatal injury crashes in the area. So to lose that that portion of the one of the legs of the table, uh, so to speak, uh, would be devastating. Despite the plan for some of the 16 troopers to move to Central Point, OSP says response times would increase, delaying critical public assistance. If, if they're forced to respond to a call in progress from that, you tack on instead of 7th Street, it's Central Point. You, so you add on a half hour, 20 minutes, even at code. That's still quite a distance. Um, it, would, it would be definitely be a negative impact on Josephine County. So uh, the OSP office closing, if it did close, would be sorely missed. Josephine County Sheriff Dave Daniel says he's already put in a request to the local public safety coordinating council, which includes the DA, to draft a letter to the governor. Their request to spare the closure of this vital office. In Grants Pass, Devin Gooden, NBC5 News.